In this video, we'll be discussing about heaps and heap sort topic. So before moving on to heaps, uh, let's brush up uh, the basics about binary trees. So given this binary tree, in order to represent it using array, we'll be going on, we'll be filling it level order or level wise. Okay, initially the first level that is A would be filled. Then we'll start from the second level that is B and C followed by D, E, F and G. Coming to this, we have A here followed by A, we have filled A first, then B and C second and third, then D, E. Yes, coming to this, we have A here, B here, C here, A, B, C filled. Then uh, after B, we don't have anything. So we'll leave these two uh, binary, these two nodes empty, okay, because there's no left and right child node for this B as root node, then DE will fill it here. So the relationship formed by taking index of element is that if a node is at index I, so its left child would be 2, two, star, two into I, right child would be 2I plus 1 and its parent would be uh, flow division of I, I by 2. So we have studied this earlier, so this is just a quick brush up. Then coming to fully binary tree. Full binary tree is there are no missing elements in it. Uh, each level, one there will be a root node followed by two child nodes. Com coming to complete binary tree, in complete binary tree, it is almost full binary tree, but then uh, the left, uh, but then the last level, except the last level, it is full binary tree. If you close this last level, no, A, B, C, it's a binary tree. If you close here, it is binary tree. But then coming to C, there are no uh, sub child, uh, sub nodes here. Coming to B also, there are no sub nodes here. So this comes under complete binary tree. Now we'll move on to the heaps topic. So heap, uh, a heap can be defined as binary tree with keys assigned to its nodes. One key per node provided conditions are met. So the conditions here are that uh, it has to be essentially complete. That is uh, like how we have decided complete binary tree except the last level it should be complete okay or it could be uh, either it is complete binary tree or it is a full binary tree okay then we have parent dominance these two are the conditions first condition we have discussed second is parent dominance this says that uh, while you are while you are structuring a, uh, a heap it should be of the form either the max heap or a min heap. Max heap says that it is a complete binary tree satisfying the condition that every node is greater than all its descendant nodes. That is uh, the highest, uh, the root node should have highest value 10. Coming to uh, whatever is below that should have the lower values which are lesser than the 10. Okay, so that's when it satisfies the heap, uh, max heap condition. My min heap condition is quite opposite to that. That is the root node will have the least value. Coming to the leaf nodes here, they'll have the highest value. Okay. And we have seen how from a binary tree to the array, how the values would be represented. We know it. Okay. Next, we'll move on to the properties now. So the first property is height of essential binary tree is log n. Log n okay. Log to the base to n. Then a heap can be implemented as an array recording its element in top down or left right fashion. That's what we have discussed here. Then in a heap sorted, uh, in a heap sorted uh, in array, the n by 2 values represent the parent in max heap. We know this as well. We have discussed uh, previously that uh, in order to get the parent value, we'll find out n by 2 value. Then we have two techniques here. So in order to uh, deal with the heap topic, we have two approaches. One is the bottom up approach. Uh, the other one is top down approach. We we'll look into what bottom up approach is first. So if you look at this uh, example, that is 2, 9, 7, 6, 5, 8. So this is the example which they have given. So in order to obtain a bottom up approach, we should firstly draw a binary tree from this. So it will be 2, 9, 7, 6, 5, and 8. This is given in the first step. Yes. Bottom up approach says that we should start uh, shifting the nodes or exchanging the nodes from bottom. Okay. So in this, we'll start from, uh, we'll, we'll uh, obtain the max heap here. Max heap condition. Okay. So in max heap condition, what does it say? The maximum value should be on the top and below we should have all the minimum values obeying the binary tree condition. So here, if you look, 
maximum uh, the 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 bottom level we have eight here eight as a root node a uh, leaf node so eight and seven you we shift the values when we shift eight and seven eight goes here seven comes here done now looking at this part nine and two will again shift nine here two here so nine will go up so two came here two six is here and two is here again shift it two will go up six will come here five will remain as it is then we have eight and seven so it is proper now nine being the highest six is lesser than that eight is lesser than that uh, two, uh, two is again lesser than six five is lesser than six eight is lesser than seven so this has satisfied the max heap condition using bottom up approach then we have a uh, algorithm for uh, a head bottom up so we take uh, array of elements one to n so for i uh, that is uh, like from the middle value we select the middle value parent value down to one do k value initially we are taking it as zero i and uh, v is equal to our intermediate node which we have taken as h of k okay the starting node now head heap is equal to false while not heap and uh, 2k is greater than n j is equal to 2k if j is less than n this is because there are two children here so we are taken 2k this condition if h of j is less than h of j plus 1 we increment the j value okay then we have if v is greater than equal to h of j heap would turn to be true else h of k is equal to h of j k, k and j value are equal we would uh, substitute the value of v in h of k position so this was about the algorithm now we'll look into an example here so parent notes 1 3 8 or uh, 9 divided by 2 is 3 yeah 1 3 and 8 are the parent notes 1 3 and 8 are the parent notes which we have obtained here so let's look into this example we have 3 of uh, 5 8 7, 15, 6, 1, 13 and 11. So this is the initial uh, condition they have given. We need to perform bottom up approach and obtain the min heap here. Okay, both the conditions are specified. Let's see how this is done. So initially uh, minimum heap and uh, on the top there are minimum value should be on the top. So out of this, where is the minimum value? 1 is here. So I'll shift 1 and 5. So 3, 1, 8, 7, 5, 15 and 6. So 1 has to go up again. So 1 has to go up. So I'll get 1, 3, 8. Here 7 and 5. Here 15 and here 6. Next step. Uh, now that I have 1, 3, 8 is proper, 7 and 5 is proper, uh, on this side I have 13 and 11, 13 and 11 is also there here, 13 and 11 is there here, uh, now I can say that I can send 6 above, okay, I can shift 6 here, so it will be 1, 3, 8, 6, 5, 13, 11, uh, I have 15 and 7 here, so if you see, the first level has the least value, second has moderate value, third has again a little higher value and this has the highest value. So here we have obtained the bottom up, uh, by performing bottom up we have obtained the minimum heap here. Yes, we will look into the analysis part now. So n, n b the number of elements is equal to 2 power k minus 1 when heap, heaps tree is full. Let h be height of tree according to the first property h is equal to log n. So each key on level i of the tree will uh, travel to leaf node h in worst case of heap algorithm. Since moving down requires two comparisons, one to find a layer, uh, one to find the larger child, other one to determine whether exchange is required or not. So total number of key comparisons is 2 into h minus i and the total number of key comparisons in worst cases they have specified it here. So with bottom up, heap of size n can be constructed with fewer than 2n comparisons. So in order to perform heap sort, we have two steps here. Okay, so heap construction will have order of big O of n and sorting stage will have big O of n log n for best case, worst case and average case. So this was about the analysis. Now we'll look into the heap sort topic. So in heap sort, we have two stages like uh, previously we have discussed one is heap construction so in heap construction we construct heap from a given array using bottom up or tops down or top down approach 
so this was the first step second step is maximum de deletions so by applying root deletion operation uh, we uh, apply this particular operation n minus 1 times provided that n elements are taken as input okay so as a result array elements are element eliminated in decreasing order but since under array implementation of heaps an element being deleted is placed last resulting array would be exactly original array sorted in increasing order so this was about heap sort let's quickly look into a question now so here we have a question that is 297618 297618 is the question we need to perform heap sort on that so first step is 297618 so my first step would be to decide which heap i will obtain so i'll i'll first step was heap construction right we have decided we have discussed here first step is always heap construction so let's construct the heap now so uh, construction that will do so i'll start with 2 then followed by 2 i have 9 here so maximum heap means the maximum value should be on the top so 9 and 2 Next I have 7, so I'll add 9, 2 and 7. Next I have 6, so I'll add 9, 2, 7 and 6 here. But then 6 and 2, no, so sh I should shift 6 and 2. So I'll get 9, 6, 7 and 2 here. 9, 7, 6, 1. Now I have 1 here, so 1 I can add here, fine, it works. Next I have 8, so where will I add 8? I'll add 8 here, but then 8 is below 7 is up, this is not proper. So I need to shift it, so 9, 6, 8. 2, 1, 7. This is the max heap that I have obtained. So from the obtained max heap, uh, my next step would be to uh, deletion. That is uh, maximum deletion, supplying the root detect, uh, deletion op operation. So for that, I will consider this particular uh, heap. I right, will this, consider this particular max heap and further do the operations. So I will write it... Uh, I'll write it here. So I have 9, 6, 8, 2, 1 and 7. So initially my first step would be to consider the last element and the first element, swap it and pop whichever the highest element which comes on the last position. After popping I should add it to the array. So totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 elements are there right. After popping this the highest element would come to the last position okay. So here I'll have I'll shift 9 and 8. So 7 will so 9 and 7. So 7 will go here, 6 here, 8 here, 2 here, 1 here, and 9 here. So I'll pop 9. So 9 will come here. Okay. Next, I have 1 here and 7 here. So I'll uh, no next uh, my next step would be to obtain the proper heap here. So I'll send 8 above. Okay. I'll send 8 above. So here I would get 8, 6, 7. 2, 1, yeah, that's it. Now again, I'll consider 1 and 8. I'll shift 1 and 8. So I would get 1, 6, 7, 2 and 8 here. So I'll pop 8. I'll pop 8 and add it here. Next, I have uh, 1, 6, 7. This is not proper. So uh, maximum heap I want, right? So 7 I'll send above 6, 1 and 2. Now this is okay. Now I'll shift or 2 and 7. So 7 will go here and 2 will go here. Now 2 is here, 6 is here, 1 here. So I'll shift again. 6, 2, 1. Now I'll swap 6 and 1. So I'll, I'll write 6 here. 1 would be on top, 2 would be on bottom. Again I'll swap these two. So 2 would be on top, 1 would be here. Uh, 2 I'll remove it. So I'll write 2 here and 1 here. So I have finally obtained the sorted array here. So that's what uh, I have explained it here. Um, properly so this was about a uh, heap sort yeah this was the first step that is heap construction and the second step is applying the root deletion approach so yeah the time efficiency of deletion is order of log n okay so given an example we'll solve this example that is 10 20 15 30 and 40. This is a pretty easy uh, example. I'll consider bottom up approach to obtain the maximum heap. Okay, so I'll start from 10. Then I'll add 20 here. First is construction, heap construction. First step. I'm doing the heap, heap construction here. 
so i'll add 20 here next i have 15 here so i'll write 15 here okay now the maximum value has to go on top right so 20 i'll send it on the top 10 here 15 here next i have 30 so 20 10 15 and 30 would be here so i have to shift 30 to top so it will be 20 15 30 10 again shift so i would get 30 20 15 and 10 done with 30 now i have 40 i'll write 40 here now again i have to shift so i'll get um 30 40 10 and 20 here and on this side i have 15 now shift 40 here so i'll have 40 30 15 10 and 20 so here i have obtained the required maximum heap so after obtaining the max heap here our next step would be the deletion process so in deletion process uh, let us consider this heap okay in this heap the the last the leaf node and the root node i'll exchange it okay so when i exchange the leaf root leaf node and root node i'll get it of the form 20 30 15 10 and 40 so i'll remove this last leaf node so i'll remove 40 and i'll add it in the in this position okay i'll add it in the array it will be here in the last position okay after this i'll check if this particular uh, tree structure is obeying the heap condition or not if i check 30 is below and 20 is above no it is not obeying the condition so i need to swap these two so 20 25 15 and 10 now again i'll select 30 and 10 and swap those two next i'll get 10 20 and 15 30 would be here i'll remove 30 delete 30 so here i deleted 40 here i deleted 30 and added it in the array next i have 20 and 10 here it is not proper so i need to rearrange this again so when i rearrange this 20 will go up 10 will be here 15 will be here so next step would be to delete or to swap 15 and 20 so when i swap 15 and 20 15 will go up 10 will be here 20 will be here so i can remove 20 now so after removing 20 i'll add it up here next i have 15 15 and 10 here 15 and 10 swap those two so i can remove 15 and finally i'll remove 10 so for any given uh, list of elements we can do the same process that is first bottom up uh, to, first is the heap construction the, and the second step is deletion so this is the sorted uh, list of elements which we have obtained so i hope heap and heap sort topic is clear to you if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you